Hey everyone, welcome to the RLT podcast where we share some real life tools, tips and tricks to help you not only discover but also reach your ultimate goals. Nature will force change. So it's something that the sooner you accept it, the sooner you realize that change is an inevitable part of life, um, the sooner you can start embracing it and embracing the opportunities that come with it as well. I try and put uh, walls and securities and uh, obviously proverbially speaking now, uh, things around me that allows me to always feel like I'm some sort of a comfort zone. So, you know, I don't really, I don't think I really enjoy change. I don't really embrace change. I don't mm. really like to foresee change. It makes me nervous. It makes me feel like whatever I have now, which is warm and fuzzy, is going to change. And um, I'm going to have to um, educate myself around the new changes. I'm going to have to adapt. I'm going to have to look at the opportunities that it presents. And then I'm going to have to reassess and realign. And So, yeah, I'm, I'm not really one for change. Um, I, it's, it's one of those things, as much as I know what the right answer is, when it comes to change and that you should embrace change, I just want to throw those people with a piece of mm -hmm. pie in the face when they say you should embrace change, you know. I just, I, I wish it could just all stay the same forever. If you think about the word comfort zone, it's actually not something that I've really given that much thought to until this very podcast right now. It's, it's not a very idealistic viewpoint. It's not maybe something we should thrive for. Um, comfort zone basically means that you've reached a point in life at probably too early a point and way too early where you haven't reached your potential, but you've reached a point where you are um, okay with the status quo and everything as it is. And you don't want change. So you, you're going to go week after week and you probably like me. I've been there. I've, I, absolutely, I've been there where you'll go week after week. You live for the evenings. You will live for the weekends, seeing your mates, having a couple drinks, um, chatting, laughing, going back to work. And it's just a comfort thing. Like you, you just want to do that. The problem is that, as you mentioned right at the beginning, is that change is inevitable. If we can embrace that change, if we accept that change is going to happen, why don't we take risks? Why don't we go after what it is that we want? If if change is going to happen to you sooner or later, then it's best for me to be in control of that change. So I try, I try and prepare for that change. I try and take risks where possible. It's not always easy. I know it's easier said than done as well. But to me, there's risks that I can control or not risks, changes that I can control. And on the other end of the spectrum, there are changes that will just naturally happen. And I will have to be open to both. I will have to take control over my own life and say so the change will happen at some point so best I be in control of it or to some extent be prepared for the change that will come unexpectedly, right? So I always try and prepare my life and prepare my situations financially, mentally, uh, physically, spiritually, call it whatever you will for change that might happen. By the way, we're giving away a free five step personal budget template that will help you take control of your financial goals. So just head over to rltstudios.com, sign up for our newsletter, and we will get that right over to you. So head over to rltstudios.com, and we will see you in the next episode. Until then, cheers.